Hello everyone, Bryce from Black Widow Fishing. Welcome back. Today we have this. And if you guys can see this and you know what it is, this is the Monster Bass box. So if you watched a couple of the last um, unboxings, then you know that I had mentioned that they switched over to calling the regional elite or pro box um, the platinum box. And so I predicted that they would be changing the box color to match what was on the website. And then I received the next box and it was still the iconic orange. So I get a delivery last night. I look in and what do you know? The box has been changed. So, so far that's the biggest thing. We haven't even opened the box yet. So why don't we get into it and see what's in here. Okay, so right off the bat, the top of the box looks different. Uh, we've got um, a quote now that says, created to help you catch your PB, guaranteed. Um, and it looks like the sticker is now gone. Um, just like the outside of the box, the inside of the box actually has contours. Um, and then, you know, they have some information here that says if you're missing something, reach out to their customer service and they'll give you help. But that ruler that was on their box as well as the one that was on the mystery tackle box is no longer there. Um, so as I stated, they always, always, always include their manual on top. I've never had a monster bass box where it wasn't. Um, looks like this month's box is going to focus on uh, the early fall time with bladed baits, suspending baits, and fishing in tough conditions is what the manual says. So it's a little different than normal as well. All right, so looking at this box, the first thing that we've got is a Z-Man Chatterbait. And so if you guys know anything about Z-Man or Chatterbaits, you know that they are the original Chatterbait designers. Uh, it's basically just a bladed jig if you don't know what a Chatterbait is. Um, but this one is the original, and it's in a uh, black and blue, has the easy skirt, and I love Chatterbaits. Um, should be getting a bunch in. I ordered a whole bunch uh, recently. So we got that. The next thing in is we have the Baker Lures JLD series, and this is a jerk bait. Uh, it's a uh, white with chartreuse and a little bit of gray. Kind of looks like a little shad, maybe like a really, really newborn trout, possibly. Um, let's see if they give us any information. Okay, it's three and three quarters inches, and it's a half ounce jerk bait. Um, it's for targeting bass, northern pike, walleye, and salmon. It says that this has a rattle system that will yield longer casts while avoiding tangles and rollovers. The lure dives about three feet, and you can vary your retrieval speed to get it to go different degrees of banking. All right, so we'll have to get this to try. I love chatterbaits and crankbaits, obviously. Next thing in our box are some X-Zone three and a quarter hot shot minnows. I actually have a ton of these. Um, what I really like about these ones, um, well, just these lures in general, is I'm not sure if you can see it, but we'll do some close up photos as well so you can see. But the top part of the, the lure is more like your regular um, or your traditional soft lure with the plastic, the plastic saw. But towards the bottom of it, they infill um, a I don't know what the kind of material is, um, but it, it's like almost like flake with a little bit of foil and just a, a denser type of plastic, possibly. I don't know. Um, and it adds a really unique touch and look when it's glistening in the water. Um, so I do have a couple of these. I use these on a drop shot. Uh, they work pretty well. The next thing in our box is going to be a Z-Man Elastec Diesel Minnows. This is the black and blue laminate. It's four inches and it's a pack of five. Um, so these are just looks like um, almost like fluke style or um, paddle tail swimmers. Um, so we'll see how those work too. But they, they feel really, really soft to the touch. Uh, Z-Man always puts out, puts out great stuff, so I shouldn't have a problem with that. Next thing is the Big Bite Baits. Uh, this is the Pro Series and they call it the five inch cane thumper. And these are basically white with a little bit of gray. They've got the traditional red bodies and they have the paddle tails. So if you guys watched the last episode of the bird's nest, I said, you know, the weather changing, at least here in the California region, the weather has definitely cooled off. We are certainly into fall. So now is the time that you want to start throwing your small to medium sized swim baits. And, you know, that's reflected in this box as well with a lot of the paddle tail swimmers that we have. Um, 
And I'll reiterate again, if you didn't watch it, we are not quite to the point to where you want to be throwing those really big gargantuan swim baits. Um, probably in you know a couple of weeks to a month, then we'll be right around that time. But right now, the small to medium sized swim baits are probably what you want to throw. Our next thing that we have inside our box is a Monster Bass um, Shaky Heads. Uh, they have the uh, twist locks on here so you don't actually have to thread your um, soft plastics onto the hook. You just screw them on and then you can just hook it in if you want to go uh, um, weedless with that. But those are always good. You can pretty much put anything on here. You can put some of these uh, paddle tails on here. You can put stick baits on here, stinkos, anything that you would like, really. Um, the only thing that I haven't tried on a shaky head, which I am going to definitely try this year or for the remainder of this year, is a creature bait on a shaky head. I've never done that before. All right, then we've got our golden ticket. And if you don't know about the golden ticket, you tune in to uh, Monster Bass's um, Monster Bass Live. And it happens every Thursday, I believe, at 7 Eastern on YouTube. And then uh, there's a number on this ticket. And if Rick calls out your number, then you've won. I don't know what you win, um, but you win something. I haven't won yet. So, okay. The next thing that we have in the box is a Monster Bass sticker. It kind of looks like a, a fish that's rocking out. And the writing kind of almost looks like a German almost. Um, Definitely haven't seen any sticker like this before, but it's pretty cool. It's in the shape of like a guitar pick. Uh, so this will definitely go on the kayak. Interesting. Uh, next thing we have inside of here is we have a Mustad Underspin Shad. It's 3 8 ounce. Uh, obviously shad color and it's got... Uh, looks more like a uh, willow leaf. Willow leaf blade on it. But you can see that there. It's an ultra point, it says. Cool. All right. Then we have... Hmm. This is different. So it says you get $40 off of Linker Stick Series Rods. Thank you for your loyalty. They give you the coupon code, which I will cover because that's going to be for me if I decide to buy one. So it's that. And then on the back side, it says new for uh, 2022. You have the Lunker Stick is the newest line of fishing rods from Monster Bass and will begin shipping on November 2022. They feature iconic actions and innovative designs that avid bass anglers have come to expect from a brand dedicated to helping them land their personal best. Uh, the features include premium Monster Modulus 30 Torre Carbon Fiber Blank, um, a Fuji Titanium Tangle Free K Guides with uh, SIC inserts, a Fuji ECS graphite reel seat, premium cork split grip handles, stainless steel hook keeper, and a quick ID rod system. So then it goes ahead and it details the uh, rod system. So you have the M1, which is the medium light, the M2, medium, moderate, fast, and so on and so forth. You'll be able to see this. I'll take a closer picture of it. Um, the rod itself looks decent. Um, this is very much reminding me of Catchco and Guggen's um, system that they use. Um, I don't remember the the exact name off the top of my head, but the, you know they have like the um, the muscle to go to the reaction, and I believe the there's another there's one more finesse I think um, one of those I, there there's four of them I'm not too sure what they are, but this is very similar, so it definitely sit, feels that Monster Bass is definitely setting themselves up to compete with Catchco and uh, Guggen all around, and then the last thing we have. Uh, is we have a black and green Monster Bass rod sock. Um, this one looks to be pretty decent. Most of them are all about the same. Um, just it, ha it has an additional tie inside here, a Monster Bass tie that I can see inside here. Um, but like I said, rod socks are the easiest way to protect your, your rods from actually breaking, um, losing a guide or anything like that. Um, and it makes them a lot easier to carry without tangling it amongst themselves. So... First time I've ever seen, received a rod sock in one of my boxes. So overall, I would say the box is definitely different. The one thing that we did not get that we normally do or we used to get was a breakdown of what was included in those prices. So we can actually do the cost comparison and see how much we actually save. But my overall impressions of the box is that I definitely like the color of the box, you know, even though that doesn't really matter towards the fishing or where it actually comes in. But I like the color. I like how they kind of change it up um, and it's not so bright with the orange. 
the things that came in the box, I'm actually fairly excited for. Um, the uh, jerk bait, definitely. Uh, the underspin that I like. And then, you know, we'll give some of these uh, soft plastics a try. And we'll just go from there. So that wraps up this Monster Bass Platinum unboxing. Um, so we'll catch you next time. Yeah.